$1.5 million coming our way from the federal government to help create a special new bus system between Raleigh and several surrounding communities. Good evening, I'm Liz Ortiz. And I'm Rod Carter. Thanks so much for joining us. The bus rapid transit system is aimed at helping reduce traffic congestion for commuters. Tonight, CBS 17 Steve Sprache is getting some answers for us into what that system is exactly and what the public thinks about it. Steve. First thing you need to know, yeah, it's called a bus, but developers say it's more like light rail, light rail without the tracks. And though it will connect to the existing bus system here in downtown Raleigh, it's going to be completely different. We have all sat in this bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, which seems to get worse by the year. And a normal bus sits in that same congestion. But bus rapid transit is different with its own special roadway and traffic signals. How will this help the rush hour commuter? When you hit those areas where you do have that traffic congestion, that's where that dedicated lane comes in, um, providing that speed and overall reliability of the service. There are four planned routes. The first corridor between New Bern and New Hope roads is about to begin construction. The federal government has provided nearly 78 million for the second corridor between Raleigh and Garner, which has another year and a half of design work ahead of it before construction begins on that. They are multi-year projects that take a lot of planning, a lot of work. The project is generating enthusiasm among some commuters who deal with weekly traffic frustrations. I would hop on that as well to avoid having to find a parking space downtown. So you think yeah. it's worth the money? Then? I do. I do. Right. Absolutely. Designers know rapid transit buses will not appeal to the same ridership who use regular buses. And that is the point. What do you think about a system like that, a rapid transit system with buses? I think that sounds great. I would love to see more public transportation within Raleigh for sure. Now, the system can't be built without some impact to current roadways. When you get under construction in roadways, it, it's just a reality. However, the designers hope to mitigate the impact on traffic as they construct the new system. Now, don't expect this thing to appear tomorrow. We're talking about a system that's going to take at least a dozen years to completely build out with connections to the north, west, and southern suburbs. I'm Steve Sprazier, CBS 17 News. All right, Steve, thank you.